Hey guys, today we would like to deliver a speech on evolution, which is one of the most major problems in today's world. Evolution means mixing of external hazardous gases and particulate matter in the air, which ultimately root inside a body through inhalation. This gradually lead to respiratory disorders and hence affect, affect the health of human beings. Hence, nowadays, evolution is one of the most major concerns for humanity. So, what are the causes of evolution? There could be various causes of evolution in today's world. The word is deliberate being at the cost of environment. Today's society, in view of modernization, is neglecting the modern nature and thereby adopting a lifestyle which ultimately causes on our health. The number of vehicles on road has increased in the past few decades, hence the emission level had also gone up. This can be very well seen by an increase in PPM level. As you can see here, this is the chart of PPM level. The severe pollution level in Delhi is an alarming situation for all of us. The picture is shown at Delhi, so you guys can see there are a lot of dust, a lot of storms around here and people have to wear a lot of masks. Also, the smoke coming out of factories or the poisonous gases coming out of chemical factories are polluting the air. We have seen one major tragedy of air pollution in the form of purple gas tragedy. The increasing usage of air conditioners in homes is so a cause of air pollution. All the different dangerous gases are smoke. When enter the pregnant ladies, cause the unborn child to come in contact with it before taking the birth. These children tend to have a high possibility of respiratory disease as compared to other children. The decrease in trees and plants leads to an imbalance in nature. It causes global warming and depletion of the ozone layer. Global warming leads to an imbalance of the natural, the natural cycle and hence the threading of polar ice, which is again forcing danger. The depletion of the ozone layer allows the infrared rays to enter our atmosphere, thereby causing skin disease. The air pollution is affecting the animal as well. It causes exit rains, which leads to the death of all a lot of animals and marine creatures. Increasing allergic patients nowadays are due to air pollution only. Asthma is affecting the people of all age groups starting from zero years of age. So, in conclusion, nature is an asset given to us. It has given life to living beings. And to pat on this asset to our offspring, as it is, we need to take good care of it. If we need our future generations to grow up in a healthy environment, then we need to take the steps now. We need to stop cutting the trees for the sake of the construction of residential colonies or factories. We need to adopt public transport for long distances and bicycle for shorter distances so as to reduce the smoke and emissions and thereby reducing air pollution. Mother Nature needs to be taken care of well for the flourishing of our upcoming generations. Let's take a pledge now to respect and protect our environment. Thank you all for listening and for giving your precious time. The sun is shining.
the sky is blue, the birds are flying, and the breeze is so cool. Mother Nature is trying her best to give us nothing but beautiful nests. But what do we do? Make her the best. Let make her the best by polluting less and less, and preserving her green dress, frog kiss, and the rest. Australia is on fire. Sea levels are higher. We need to stop this now. The little things we can do is how we are about to fall, but we can climb high and tall. So I'll start today for a better tomorrow. Let end this sorrow. <laughs>